Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to the Sharp Edge tool in Paint 3D. If you want to watch a full tutorial of Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video, which was about using the tube brush in Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Sharp Edge tool in Paint 3D. First of all, I'm going to open Paint 3D from the Windows Programs list. Click Start, and then on Paint 3D. Now that Paint 3D is open, I'm going to open a new blank canvas by clicking on New. Here is the new blank canvas. I'm going to click on 3D Shapes tool, and I'm going to click on Sharp Edge tool. Here is the Soft Edge tool, and here is the Sharp Edge tool. The difference between them is that when drawing with the Sharp Edge tool, the corners are clearly defined, or sharp. Let me show you. Let me left click and drag. If I try to draw a square, you can see that the corners are sharper than, than, a, than I drew them. You can see, every time I try to curve it, there are points in the middle of the curve. Like a normal 3D object, I can rotate it by its X Y and Z positions, and I can also bring it back and forth through 3D space using the Z axis position. If I try to rotate it, you can see that it is really thick, so I'm going to make it thinner. I'm going to use the grip points around the selection box, so I'm going to left click and drag. Now it is a reasonable size. I'm going to rotate it again. Now you can see the shape. I can change the color of the shape by going to Edit Color. I'm going to change its color to brown. I'm going to close the color palette by clicking outside of the color palette. And I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to left click on the shape to select it and I'm going to left click and drag to move it across the canvas. Now I'm going to resize it using its grip points. I'm going to bring it slightly forward using the z-axis position. Now I'm going to draw another sharp edge shape with sharp edge tool. I can draw a house. With the sharp edge tool and the soft edge tool, you have to go back to the original starting point, which will be defined as a circle. If you don't go back there, you cannot finish the shape, so I have to go back. Here you can see the roof, and here you can see the house. If I try to rotate it, you can see that it's slightly thick. I'm going to reduce its height. And I'm going to rotate it again. You can see that the roof is slightly above the house. If I, I cannot ungroup it or regroup it, because it is one single shape. If the lines overlap, in soft edge or sharp edge tool, there will be a gap in between the shape that you're drawing. So there will be a gap. I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box. I'm going to draw another one. Left click and drag. I'm going to draw a 3 this time.
you can see that the 3, wherever it has corners or curves, it has pointed edges. So here you can see the lines and then a vertex. Then another line, which is an edge, and another vertex. I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to rotate this 3. Currently it's slightly thick. I'm going to reduce its thickness by left clicking and dragging on this grip point. Now I'm going to rotate the 3. Here's the 3. I'm going to deselect the 3 by clicking outside the selection box. This is how you use the sharp edge tool. I'm just going to change the colour of the 3 before saving this file. I'm going to click on the 3 to select it. And I'm going to go to edit colour. And I'm going to click on red. I'm going to click outside the colour palette to close it. If I zoom out, you can see the three shapes that I drew. Now I'm going to save this file. Menu. Save. Whenever you have 3D objects in your 3D project, you have to save it as a paint 3D project. Otherwise, it will become 2D. So I'm going to save it as paint 3D project. And I'm going to call it Sharp Edge Tool. Now I'm going to click on Save in Paint 3D. You can see that the file is saving. Now that the file is saved, I'm going to close Paint 3D. In my future videos, I'll be posting tutorials on Paint 3D and how to make games in Python. I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and show it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fortechcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!